This is task 3a part 1 where you are asked to create an entity relationship diagram. This must be hand drawn so don't use a computer for this task although I'm using paint uh, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Well, the question starts by telling you that Pass First would like to store details of their cars. So therefore you can put onto your diagram a table called cars. They also want to be able to store details about instructors and learners and lessons. Okay, so each of these can be turned into a box which will form our entities. Notice we don't need to put any fields in here, it is just the table names. What we've then got to do is we've got to look and see right, what are the relationships between each one. So if we looked, for example, at a relationship between cars and learners, I could say, well, one car can be used by lots of learners. A learner, over a period of time, could use lots of cars. That means it's got a many-to-many -many relationship, so we can't have that. We can also look, for example, at learners and instructors. Well, one learner could have one instructor, but it's also possible they could have many instructors. And an instructor could have many learners. Uh, therefore, we have a many-to-many -many relationship, which hopefully we know is not possible. So we're going to remove those and we can see here that we've got a lessons table. Lessons are events that take place between a learner with an instructor in a car. So if we are to join, for example, lessons and learners together, and we ask ourselves how many learners are there in each lesson? Well, each lesson will only ever have one learner. And how many lessons does each learner have? Well, a learner could have lots of lessons or many lessons, so we can draw that on. Then let's ask ourselves the same question between lessons and instructors. A lesson will only ever have one instructor at a time, but each instructor will teach lots of lessons. The lesson will only involve one car but a car will be used lots of times in lots of lessons. We now have our relationships drawn. Now, when you draw your relationships, make sure that you include the degree of the relationship. The degree of the relationship is this bit here. Okay, that is the many and the one. If you have added extra tables, for example, when you come to produce uh, your system, you decide that you want a table to look up the lesson times. That's okay, okay, but it's not necessary to put it onto the entity relationship diagram. Remember, it must be hand-drawn. And one final thing, there is a rule that all foreign keys go on the many side of a relationship. And we have three many sides in the lessons table. So when it comes to producing the lessons table, you now know that there are three keys, three foreign keys that point to the primary keys in the cars table, the learners table, and the instructors table.